dullness that no one can ever disturb. And that, I say, is the goal. That is nicer than even happiness. When you get to a high degree of joy, where joy gets very intense, even the joy itself can get to be disturbing in that it's too much action. There's a nicer state than joy called peace. I'm calling it calmness. And I say that is the goal. And that when you get that, you're in the nicest place there is. By the way, Lester, if you did look like Alfred E. Newman all the time, I don't think anyone would like you. <laughs> yes? Not to be cutting off or nothing, but you say this whole concept is caused by inner peace, right? Okay. Uh, outer peace, too. Please? Outer peace, also. Out. No, we're projecting your physical. Yeah, get to the place Smile. where yeah. things and people do not disturb you. And that's what I mean by outer. People are out there. But in other words, what you're running... Yeah. Oh, let, let me finish with this, gentlemen. Yourself, right? Let me finish with him first, please. Oh. I, I want to satisfy, to the degree that I'm capable, your question. Uh, I have used the method, I reached a place where I have no problems in life. I know the mind is only creative. I'm able to use my mind to create whatever I want. What I discovered, I would love to see others discover also. I am trying to get it out so others can discover that there is a place where they can be, where they are disturbed no more. Ask me your questions again. All right. Um, I know most doctors, when they come upon the discovery, let's say psychiatrically, will make it known to the medical profession or do a paper and publish it in, in the AMA magazine or, or whatever. In other words, they'll make it, uh, they'll make it public to the rest of it, make it known to the, to the general public at large. Uh, I've heard about S, I've heard about a lot of these mind things that are going on today. It seems to be, that seems to be the craze that our society is today, getting into oneself, the inner, the inner But I haven't heard about yours. Right, because we have been very quiet. This week, we started advertising the first time we moved out. And I'm questioning whether I should. Uh, we're not that noisy, as you say the others are, in shouting our wares. Yes. Well, why wouldn't you want to be? Well, what we have is really nothing new. Everything I said has been said by many others and is as old as man is. The potential of man has always been known, right? I haven't said anything new that you haven't heard before, have I? No, no, no. But you right. teased us with the idea that you have a process that we don't know. <coughs> that nobody else knows about either. You have this. All right, I say that is true. I have it. I can't prove it to you. The best proof you can get is talk to someone who's been through it, in whom you have confidence, or the only real proof is if you take it yourself. So you if, if you don't feel that, that we hear from them. I'd like to hear from some of these people how they've experienced the benefits voice? and what changes they have, uh, have been affected. Okay, are, are there any graduates here who would <laughs> care to speak out? See, we don't use pressure. We don't believe in that. Are there any graduates who would like to tell their experiences on how they have been helped in their lives? Well, I will say that as far as you're saying the method, it is a, what it is is a tool. You take a course? Yeah, I have taken the course, and I probably have been involved with Lester longer than anyone who well, other than Jimmy here in this room. I heard about Lester when he was in Arizona, and from a friend of mine here in New York, an actor, and that he was just starting this course, and this was two years ago, and I flew out to Arizona and stayed there for about ten days and took this course, and I was sort of uh, staying at what, what there was a center there, which there was at that time, and 
and I took it there, and then I came back to New York and used my tool. And uh, the advantage I see it in it is that there is something that you can use in every circumstance and every situation, and it's directly connected with you, I mean, and where you are at that particular moment. And I mean, I had studied metaphysics, and I had studied Gestalt, and I had studied various other things, which all say all the truths in very glowing terms. And I was raised knowing that I was an infinite being. I was told this since I grew up. And I mean, that's great to hear. I mean, it's lovely. I have an infinite being forever. But, <laughs> uh, you know, there are lots of things that come up, you know. And, you know, I had crisis and tears and bowels and all kinds of things. And, and, and this way of looking at not only yourself, but looking at human behavior in general, is absolutely fantastic, and it is it is a very simple way. It's not complex. That's the genius of Lester, is he has been able to put it in the simplest form, and I think the simplest thing to the best, and the easiest way to do it. And it's sort of for 20th century viewing. <laughs> it's sort of for the way we live. It's sort of not to go into an institution and and sit as a monk and meditate, but it is within our complex society that it works the best. And I will say that <laughs> I have a 15-year-old daughter who is also the thing, and uh, it's helped with her age group, too. <laughs> so, and it's one of those things, you, you as much as you use it, it works. What has it done to you? <clears throat> well, I will say that it, um, well, my one problem was that I had sort of a, when I went to Leicester, I was, I was in a very apathetic state, in a, in a state of grief, where things in life, I would cry. I mean, I couldn't, if I was talking to a business person or if something went against my coil, I would suddenly, these tears would come up, and if I would get into this incredible situation, I couldn't function. You see, I was, and uh, I was able to see this, this is a one tangible Thing. Uh, and able to see why it was, where I was, and to rid myself of it and sort of progress up the ladder in all things that were holding me back in this field. And I am an actress, my, an actress and a creative person, and I was also able to see that I was able to tap into my own creativity and my own tuition, intuition far greater than I could ever dream I would be able to. Can I ask you a question? If you're taking a course uh, what is to stop you from uh, starting your own process? And, uh, I have no desire to do that. Or anyone else who would take the They certainly could. There's no, I mean, I'm sure um, if you'd like to start a, course, start a course, but I mean, I, I uh, enjoy the mind freedom, and I've enjoyed working with Lester, and I've enjoyed... Um, people around it, and I've enjoyed supporting it without, I mean, I have too many other things to do rather than start my own uh, religious I group. Can I say something about that? Mm -hmm. I, I, I want to say something about what you just mentioned. Yeah. The simplicity of it is the most mind-blowing part of it. And just the idea of trying to make it more simple than it is, <laughs> is or, well, first of all, if you, there's only two directions you could possibly go. You could make it more complicated, which wouldn't be the method, which would be a lesser thing. You couldn't get more simple, so you couldn't go the other way. It's just incredible. Where is the process that someone learns to take a pass it on to someone else? Not necessarily. It's just like, it's very simple to use a hammer. Well, that's not the case. Yeah, well, it's just like using a hammer. It takes skill, and it's a method that you, and it takes time, and it's something that can't just, I, you know, in five minutes you could say what it is, but it's one of those things where you have to experience it. That's why it's structured for 30 hours. It's structured in such a way that you learn as you're going on. The first day, when I said, I just graduated two weeks ago or so, and the first day I think I was using the method and it was working. And sometimes when a person uses it, they, they get overwhelmed with such joy, they start laughing a lot. I didn't laugh that much, though. I just 
I just released it and just enjoyed myself. I didn't laugh so much. And the greatest thing for me is that my girlfriend also said to me, we've got a beautiful relationship. We're just flying. And it's only been like a couple of weeks that she's been at it two weeks more than I have. <laughs> It is. It's very permanent. You can, use it every, you can use it as much as you want. The more you use it, the more you don't. And you can use it in any situation, anywhere, with anyone. You carry it with you. But it, it's like you said, it's a tool cool, that works. It's great. I want to say something else. I, the greatest thing it's done for me is gotten rid of a thing called despair. And one, one thing I can say is permanently gone. Anything that comes up, I, I can handle it. I mean, I may choose not to handle it, but I, it's the joke's on me. <laughs> you know, I see it immediately. I just let go of it, and it's gone. There's nothing in the way of your unlimitedness except your own holding on to concepts of limitation, and that's all we're holding on, feeling very holy about it, you know. You like a whole thing. It sounds, um, when everybody sang, and uh, the radio video was singing, everything sounds pretty nice and really beautiful. And uh, it's, everybody is also saying, you know, how they feel, really happy, and everything's fun, and great, and beautiful. Uh, how was the last? I mean, you know, year, two years, five, ten, you come back and meet you, <laughs> Our unhappiness is due to the suppressed garbage that we're holding. The inhibitions and the compulsions cause our unhappiness. As we dump them, we gain happiness, and it's permanent from here on. And the more we dump, the happier we become. So as time goes by, we get happier. But what we dump is dumped permanently, whatever it is. In other words, hang up some trousers that our parents might have dumped on us, we can let go of Anything that you accepted from your parents is a better way to put it, yes. Let's do it. Your method has anything to do with what I'm suggesting? No. The auto suggestion is programming. We try to deprogram all the programs. All these programs are of limitation. We get the programs out of the way. The intuitive being that we are comes through. Steve, after years of habit, I mean, in two weekends, you know, counteract the whole lifetime of that habit. No. No. You're shown a method that becomes a tool that you use in your everyday life. Wouldn't you slip and forget the tool and go back to your own? No, because it's so thinking? it's so basic and it's so cover all, you can't help but see it in the world. As you go through the world, you just see it. It's a simple presentation of what it's all about. And you cannot help but see it in your everyday life. How large a group is it? The group is usually 10 to 12 people. It's informal. We work around a table. As we present the data, we try to get you through the experiencing of it. And you experience it, others experience it. And when one is experiencing, usually others experience with them in actually dumping the subconscious pressure, drive, inhibition, compulsion, these are different words for the same thing. You're in a way of dumping the subconscious pushes and pulls. Is there reading material involved? No. No. We give you the total picture on a chart right in front of you. But the way is taking you through it. Experiencing you through it on how to get a handle on the subconsciously suppressed all that stuff, you get a handle on it and you actually discharge it, don't you? We, uh, uh, we uh, have a, just a sort of a brief demonstration 
No, this. No, I, uh, I can't demonstrate it well, because it's, 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 someone is, is up against the difficulty or predicament. Someone is just going over to him and giving him a nudge and a dirty look and say, you damn fool, you remind me of my mother. Okay. <laughs> that uh, person, how would you, uh, what would you do? Does any graduate want to answer that? <laughs> if not, I'll answer it. You get your disturbed feeling in a certain way that you can actually discharge it and you're not disturbed. Well, you, uh, uh, that, that is very vague and, and uh, you don't care whether you want me with a, a, a sense that you have uh, responded. Uh, uh, how do you get rid of it? What do you do? With what, I want the actual application. All right, here's the, here's the answer. <laughs> I cannot tell you experience. The reasoning mind can never, ever comprehend it. It's an experience of ridding yourself of suppressed feelings. My reasoning mind isn't an abstraction. It's based upon experience and life and feeling. So uh, there's an analogy in anything you say that will speak to my experience. Not true. Not true. If your reasoning mind could do what we say, you would have it. You would have it. You would read it. You've already read it in books. You know what it takes to be happy. If your reasoning mind could do it, you'd have it. The price of the course is $195. For the two weekends? For the two weekends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get your midday meal is included. <laughs> Same price. There you are. <laughs> I think this will blow up like S S started at about $150. Yes, they would have. Something about $250. $300. $300. Maybe we better get in on the ground floor. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, I'm going to take this. have 250 people. We have about a dozen. And we, and we work with each one. Have you taken any other of these courses? That's in your experience, has it been anyone that has not been successful with? Uh, no. One could choose not to use the method and not be successful. But if there is somebody who would not want to use it, it's fine. It's impossible. Oh, it's I don't know the method, so I'm thinking out of my head. Then it, it would not be successful. There are different degrees of success. Mm -hmm. But there's some good gotten by everyone. The totality of the presentation shows the simplicity of it. So that each one does gain. Aren't you really asking, uh, has anyone uh, said, uh, I didn't get anything out of it, I want my money back, or, or something like that? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you offer uh, reinforcers uh, like additional weekends or days or hours? We, for those who want more, we do have a workshop every Wednesday night. Can this be applied to quitting smoking, overeating, over drinking? The people who have had the course, some have dropped smoking with no fight. I think the majority are still smoking, though, who were smoking. Some have lessened, most of them have lessened their smoking who haven't dropped it. Some have dropped it. Yeah, some have dropped it with no fight. Some have dropped overeating. Wouldn't you say that the goals that people might have would be uh, essentially right thinking rather than getting rid of obsessions like smoking or overeating, drinking, whatever, drugs? That's more important. Right thinking will get you to the right place. 
most compulsions are a result of wrong thinking. Aren't you correct? The wrong thinking. Well, thinking see, right. the thinking is the, the thing is thinking is caused by the compulsion. Our feelings motivate our thoughts. We get hungry, we think how to get something to eat. We are cold, we think how to get ourselves warm. We want to make money, we think how to get a job. We're in a job, we think what we must do to maintain that job. See, the feelings motivate the thoughts. Isn't the, the ultimate thing in life is not the thing at all? The ultimate state is when your mind is at peace and has no thoughts until you want to put a thought in. Today we're plagued by thoughts, whether we want them or not. So the ultimate state, yes, is to get to the place where the mind is totally at peace. <coughs> when you get there, the harmony that is natural to the universe will manifest for you. Life gets to be less and less requiring of effort. We can reach a place where it's almost effortless. Everything falls into line for us. Tell me, Lester, uh, how do you deal with someone who says, I have a pressing problem right now, and I can uh, spell it out? What do you do with that? They immediately apply the method. Because I have a pressing problem right now, and I'm wondering, <laughs> if, even though I didn't take the course, if I could apply the course, uh, no, you could, you would have to. You'd, no, it's not that. Fortunately. You'd have to learn how to use it. You're so conditioned to do the opposite right now. If I told you what it was, you couldn't use it. But when you go through it again and again and again for thirty hours, by experience you see, oh, it does work. And you'll never understand it because there is no understanding to it. Yet we give you the intellectual understanding of it. The, the outer, what you think is understanding, but the real understanding is the experiencing. It's in the feelings where we get straightened out. We, rid of, we get rid of the subconscious drives. There's no understanding of the subconscious drives. If there were, you wouldn't have them. You wouldn't be plagued by them. Where does uh, love come in and all this? Love, <laughs> love is our really basic inherent nature, and all these subconscious feelings cover it over. Are you and full of love now? Yes. <laughs> how do you show us how you feel love? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't feel it, I can't show it to oh, you. Oh, no, 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 that's a cop out. That's a cop out because if you are unlimited, then nothing can limit you, not even my limitation. I am not. Therefore, show me that you feel and express and project love. Well, don't say I can't do it because that's a confession of limitation. I am not at that high goal yet, and I have not said that I am. And love is a thing you experience. Love isn't a thing I tell to you, I love you. I can say I love you, I love you, I love you all day long and be thinking of how to hurt you. My wishes for you are only the best. I want you to have what you want. And that's where my love comes from. I've got a few more endorsements. <laughs> <laughs> some They're selling much better, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. I can't sell the product. I, I can only present it. Uh, I have two questions that are kind of related. In the first place, are the experiences of other people necessary or if we do this on a one-to-one -one basis, for instance? You can do it on a one-to-one -one basis. In other words, in a role of a teacher to a student? Yes. Well, if that's the case, then why haven't you written it down and sold it as a book? It shouldn't be much more. There's only well, one reason why I haven't. It's impossible. If I could, <laughs> if I could have, I wouldn't be putting myself through this ever. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I know the mind laws. Mind is only creative. We create only that which we hold in mind. Unfortunately, we're holding most of our stuff subconsciously and creating things we think we don't want because we don't see that we're holding negative thoughts. I have no problem with life. I don't need this. 
It's only out of what he's talking about, compassion. I would love to see others get this. As soon as this will get on its feet, I'll step out of it. I don't need it. I don't need the glory. I have another answer. Uh, that it's out of compassion that I'm doing what I'm doing it. I'll tell you this, it'll be the biggest bargain you will ever will have had in your entire lifetime. This I know. I can't prove it to you. What therapy is that? Is it If you don't have faith in it, you know, I'll tell you on the guarantees. I'll tell you my experience with it. I, I could do it very easily. I have seen several people not get it because they were guaranteed. I've seen it used by the person not to get the course. And I'll tell you the reason why I charge. For 24 years I put this out. Not only would I not charge, I wouldn't take a donation. Donations were collected and given to me and I turned them back. I was aware of my doing a disservice to people, but I just couldn't charge. Freud said it way back in the beginning. Unfortunately, my... Patients get better to the degree that they have to pay for it. We are subconsciously so conditioned to value in accordance with what we put out. If I didn't charge you, I would be doing you a disservice. That's all right. We don't well, I do. This, this is a love I have, which I wouldn't do to you. I've been doing this for 24 years, you said? Yeah. I have only put it out in an organized way now, charging for it in the past two years. I started roughly about two years ago. And uh, I have I had far more effectiveness in the past two years than I had in the previous 22 years. Uh, because... Yeah. Yeah. This money talk almost gets me itchy to say something. I'm a graduate. And um, I had the same feelings when I came here the first time. I didn't know anybody. I read the little notice somewhere. And it sounded like a river to me, because they don't tell me what it is and come and find out. Uh, some intuition said to me, OK, risk it. You had lost it before, and I took it. <laughs> and now, five months later, it is so incredible what I've gotten for it. Uh, it's not even that dramatic. I wasn't uh, lying in the gutter and was screaming in pain. No, I was pretty well adjusted because I had taken everything, you name it. Religious side, mind control, other food. Is my, I'd gone to many paths and I took something from each path and I felt I was getting better and I was functioning very nicely. Thank you, but underneath there was a great deal of pain. And I kept it down and it, it worked. And this has taken this pain and literally dissolved it, and I'm in a state which is absolutely beautiful, and believe me, $195, it's ridiculous to even talk about. And no matter what your financial condition is, if you have, if, I mean, it's worth that and many thousands more. If you go for two or three years to an analyst, you would consider uh, 3,000 cheap, surely. And there's well, not... I wanted to say, well, I want to say that uh, 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 well, uh, number one, uh, it worked for you, just as, you know, many people have gone to uh, Freudian or one-eyed uh, psychiatrists. It's worked for them very well. And yet many other, uh, thousands of others uh, have gone to these one-eyed and Freudian psychiatrists. It hasn't worked for them. So what's good for one may not be good for the other. And also I wanted to comment on the um, uh, old way of psychiatry where they said if you don't pay for it, you won't get better, or you won't get better as fast, and has to be sacrificed. Well, there was a recent report in psychology today that said that um, they found that even when the patients don't pay for it, like 
uh, when they get it to Medic on uh, Medicaid uh, or clinic, uh, the amount of people that get well or that don't get well is the same as what, uh, for the ones who pay for. Well, sir, I'm not talking about just getting well. I'm talking about being in a state where the world can do its thing, but I'm not affected the same way I was before. That's something which is far beyond well. How has your life changed? You said it sounded very convincing. Uh, how's it changed? Well, um, first of all, that I stand here and talk, that's a change. <laughs> that's a big change. And I don't feel uptight about it. If you all could tell me to shut up and sit down, I wouldn't feel rejected. Now, a rejection has been a major thing in my life. It wasn't always acknowledged, but it was there. And in many relationships, it came out inside, and it's just those little things that weren't very nice. Uh, that is a change which is very dramatic to me, maybe not to you, but to me that's a big one. Uh, in other words, it, it makes everything easier, uh, including if the landlord gives me a hard time. I don't get uptight, and I'm able to function better. I can see better through him. I can feel better with him. If, uh, if, if, if uh, professionally, I'm functioning very so, well. So, um, excuse me, you said if the landlord gives you a hard time, so yeah. you said, well, you're addicted, you mean you can smile, you just pack up your things and walk out, right? Well, as you ask me a direct question, the answer is yes. It's not that much more, uh, that's not that important anymore what the world does to me, how I react to it. I find a way, I feel relaxed. I would have been uh, sh sh shaken up uh, a year ago, yes. Have you been able to deal with things that have happened in your childhood that you've been upset about? Oh, that is so big, I can't even start talking about it. It would take me three weeks to explain to you. I have literally shed these things like a shell, like an egg that has 50,000 shells. They came off just by themselves. And as they came off, that's what we call letting go. Uh, it's like I'm flying. <laughs> Uh, I'm uh, like in a balloon and the baggage comes off and I'm just floating because these things that happen, even things that I don't remember, they're still, the computer carries them forward and presses and presses and they are coming off. Yeah, that's a, probably the greatest one. And this is permanently? You don't have to keep doing this every month and a half? Well, uh, I mean, once it's done, portions. yeah, no, once it's done, it doesn't come back. I have a very simple example, it may not be terribly dramatic, but I have a, I have a little dog. I'm very fond of him. He's 12 years old and he's a little sunshine from the Yorkshire Terrier. And right after I took the course, he came down with a growth and it became it was cancerous. And it was very sad. But I applied the method and I saw him suffer, very deeply suffer. And I was not affected in the same way. I was able to love him more but not suffer. However, uh, four weeks ago he came down with a second cancer growth. And this seemed to be really serious. And this time I did not have to go through the same process again. It worked. That to me was a big thing because I thought I would have to go through the same thing and apply what I learned. It didn't have to be. It was an identical situation and it didn't need to be redone. That doesn't mean if a new situation would come up, I wouldn't use the method. But this time I had a proof. And a dog, what is emotionally attached to it. However, I'm uh, letting myself <coughs> love him more because I'm not worried about losing him now, which is foreseeable in the near future, I'm not worried about suffering because I can just allow myself to love and not to pay the price. Yeah, thank you. Excuse, Excuse me, Matt. <laughs> By you taking this course here, uh, do you feel like you are the master of yourself? Are you the cause and effect of everything that happens to you through this course? I'm the course, yes. I accept it. I'm accepting my I mean, do you choice. feel like you are the master of your own self? Like, I feel that I'm in harmony. Yes, I feel that. Yes. You're in harmony. Yep. That's, yes. You are the cause and effect. Everything happens to you. Right. And without this course, you would have never been able to obtain you know, the harmony that you have within you. Uh, I might have, but certainly not in this length of time. Uh, these five months, uh, that's uh, from where I can see it, it's incredible. That, uh, that's something I've never seen before. I have taken things from everything. If you uh, sit long enough and practice Buddhism, you get better, but it takes a very long time. To get there. And there was a great deal of pain underneath, even when I was peacefully meditating, that I could not uh, cope with. And this, I have to be able to take care of. Thank you. Is there any, is there any chance that the process 
help to release them could, um, could be used against you to stop No. What you're dumping are really subconscious inhibitions and compulsions, none of which are any good, every bit of which is interfering with your freedom in life and happiness. Does this have anything to do with actualism? No. The star, you know, uh... See, what I say is the same as what you've heard from many schools, but our method is not like any other one. It's unique. As far as you know, it's never been done in any other culture or time of history. Right. Does this uh, depend on thought knowledge, insight, awareness? In other words, making the interpreting the feelings that come from the so called unconscious, making them conscious, we, we, eliminating them. No, we don't interpret, we don't dwell in them.